Today we want to cut down this aspen tree here. In previous videos we have shown you guys how to do the face cut according to the Swedish school books and they say that you're supposed to do it at a 70 degree angle about and the reason for that is that here in Sweden we're being taught to aim with that cut. Now you can't use that cut for any kind of tree and in other countries like the United States you cut down trees in a different way with different angles and so on. Tim is now going to explain for us how we cut down this tree and the reason for it. We're using the Husqvarna 390. It's the biggest saw that I have right now. It's got a 30 inch bar. This tree is an aspen and here you can sell the lumber to match factories or to the match industry. And it needs to meet certain standards as far as knots and limbs and these things go. Each species of tree has different characteristics as far as the fibers and the wood. How hard it is, how tough it is, how dense it is. Aspen wood cracks really easy or splits very easy. If we would use the standard face cut that typically we are taught to use in Sweden which is 70 degrees, there's a very high likeliness of the wood splitting because at 70 degrees the tree has to fall almost to the ground until the hinge tears off. And that tearing happens so late that the fibers are already at an angle where splitting is very easy to occur. So by closing the notch a little bit to maybe 50-60 degrees, when that closes the fibers will tear off sooner and splitting can be avoided. If we close the notch a little bit, aiming will be harder if we use di the diagonal cut to aim with. The more open your face cut is, the, the longer the tree will stay on the hinge and the longer the hinge will control the direction of the tree unless it tears off for some other reason if the tree gets caught on something on its way down. So by closing it up we give up a little bit of that control. We got a little bit of tearing in the side, which is not great, but it's not as bad as a tear right through the middle of the trunk going several feet, feet up or several meters up, like at probably the, the first log. So it's not great, but we, we avoided uh, the split in the middle by this felling technique. To avoid this, you could have made little cuts here which also decreases the stability of your hinge. We 
hope you guys found this video interesting and helpful. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. Subscribe to the channel for many more forestry videos and other videos to come. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. See you.